Hello everyone, welcome back to Very Cherry Cakes. Today I will be sharing with you my cake pop dough recipe. Here is a list of all the ingredients. Please take a note that this recipe will make between 15 to 18 cake pops. If you do want to make the whole box, you're going to have to double the ingredients. In your mixing bowl, pour in half of the bag of the cake box mix that you chose and the brand that you choose doesn't really affect the end product so feel free to use whatever brand you have on hand or whatever brand you prefer. Next, add in your two eggs at room temperature. Then we will add in our applesauce. In this case, I used mango peach applesauce, but this doesn't really affect the flavor. If you are concerned, just use the normal applesauce. And again, for the yogurt, I did use strawberry Greek yogurt, but if you have just the plain one, that works fine, especially if you're using chocolate, red velvet, or any other flavor of cake box mix. For your pudding, make sure that it is sugar free because it does give you a lot less sugar. We have already added in enough sugar. If you do only have the one that is not sugar free, make sure that you only measure out one ounce. When all of our ingredients are in the bowl, we will use our paddle attachment to mix until all ingredients become one. Mix at medium speed for about one minute and then raise to medium high for about another minute until everything combines. You can also use a hand mixer or a wooden spoon for this step. We will now line a Pyrex baking dish with parchment paper and bake our cake at 350 degrees for about 28 to 30 minutes. When your cake is done baking, take it out of the oven and let it cool for a few minutes. Once it has cooled, add it back into the bowl and add the paddle attachment back to your mixer and mix until everything becomes a smooth dough. When you are done mixing, give your dough a roll just to test it out. And if it smooths out into a very smooth little ball, then you're ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget that if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye.